Thanks. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is figure out what happens when we have two equations and we want to see what's going on. They're going to basically have a point in common unless they're parallel. Well, look at the two slopes. They're not equal, so these two lines can't be parallel. We want to solve the system of equations. Well, what it means is that at two, there's a place where the two equations have the same ordered pair that works. The y value that you would get for this equation is going to match the y value that you would get for this equation. In very technical language, if y equals this and y equals that, we can solve for where they cross if this equals that. In other words, 3x minus 2 equals 1 half x plus 13. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Again, these two guys match, so these two guys match. And now we have an equation with one unknown linear equation. There are no exponents, so we'll bring the letters to one side, numbers to the other. 3x minus 1 half x equals 13 plus 2. And then keep it in fractional form or change to decimal. It'll still work nicely. This is going to be equal to 5 over 2x equals 15. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the coefficient of the variable. Huh? That's right. And then you're going to get x equals 30 over 5, which is equal to 6. What does that mean? It means that these two equations are both going to equal the same y value if x equals 6. But I don't know what the y value is. Well, simply take that equation and replace in the x value that you got. Which equation? It doesn't matter. They'll both work just as well. Take the easier one, the one without fractions. That means that y is going to be 18 minus 2, which is equal to 16. These two equations must meet at 6 comma 16. You want to double check your work? Plug in x equals 6. See if it gives you the same value when you work it out. A half of 6 is equal to 3, plus 13 equals 16, which is what we got for our ordered pair. Now, graphically speaking, we could take a look at what this means. Unfortunately, we're going to go off the graph for the numbers that we have, so I'm going to use a scale going by 2's. So, if I have the first graph, which is 3x minus 2, it's going to have a y-intercept at negative 2 with a slope of 3, something like this. And then, the other one is going to have a y-intercept of 13 with a slope of a half. So that's going to be somewhere around here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, and a slope of a half up 1 over 2, something like that. And the ordered pair where they're going to meet is at 6, 16.